Um, so when you uh, found you were doing uh, Batman, how did you, uh, what was the process of making it your own, making it like, you know, something fans would want to do? You know, it was the first animated character I ever even auditioned for, which just does not happen. That just doesn't happen that way. Um, I was a New York actor who happened to be in L.A. shooting a pilot. My voiceover agent said, go over to Warner Brothers and bring together a new show, give it a shot. So it was really a true um, kind of Hollywood moment of an actor in a booth using his imagination and nailing it. And that doesn't happen. You know, it might happen in movies from the 30s or 40s, but it doesn't happen in real life. So I was just so fortunate to have that happen that day. Um, and I think the reason it happened was because I had no preconceptions. I, I didn't know a lot about Batman. The only thing I knew about him was the uh, Adam West show, uh, which everyone loved, but was not what they were doing with this. They were going noir, dark, gritty, um, the Legend of the Dark Knight, you know, they were going back to that stuff. Um, so I just improvised on the spot and it led to 27 years of work. And so for my last question, what do you miss most about working on this show? The cast, the cast. That's what made this show so wonderful. Aside from the great stories, the beautiful hand-painted cells, all the artwork, the full symphony score, everything about this show was up a few notches from what had been done before, which is why it still looks so great and sounds so great. I think Eric said it was like mini movies, is how they... Each one was like a mini movie. movie. It was incredible. And they never were talking down to the audience. No one ever did it like, oh, this is a kid's show. Everyone always went in like, we're doing theater. It was always like a booking. And Andrea always admit, uh, insisted on getting all the actors together, which doesn't happen usually. Usually they record act actors separately. But at Warner Brothers, you always came in as a group. So Mark is the most incredible, generous actor as, as um, Joker. And he would make me be such a better guy. And, and he said that I would, I would give him so much that it would make him do more. So there was this symbiotic relationship. And then and that would happen with John Glover and Roddy McDowell and Adrian Barbeau and Richard Mull. And, you know, I mean, the cast was just a who's who of who was working in Hollywood in the 90s. And on the 100th episode, uh, all, I think it was the 100th episode, Warner Brothers took out a two-page spread in Daily Variety to thank everyone who'd worked on the show up until that point. I have it. I still have it at home. It was, it was breathtaking to look at all the names that had been on that show, because when you're doing it show by show by show by show over the years, you don't think about who's been in each one, you know what I mean? But to see them all there lined up alphabetically, I thought, this is an amazing group of actors that they put together for this. And Andrea used to tell me she had no problem booking actors because everyone wanted to do this show. Um, word got out how much fun these bookings were. Everyone wanted to come in. So I got to work with amazing people over the years. Um, but it, I never imagined I would be working with. So what do I miss most? The cast. Definitely the cast. What's been one of the best parts about portraying Batman? For you, like when looking back on your career from all the video games and series, what's the best part about it? What he means to the audience. He is such a noble character. The stories that I hear, the wonderful thing about Comic Con, which I love going to, is you get to interact with the audience. You know, I'm a stage actor. That's half the reason I'm an actor. I love interacting with the audience. I love that feeling from the house at night. It's like a drug. You just love it. <laughs> and when you record in a booth, you never get any of that, you know? You, 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 you do the best you can to fill out the character, to flesh out the character, but you never have that, that answer, that communication with the audience. And you go to Comic-Cons and you get it. And the, the stories that I hear from people, um, people who just want to hug me and say, you have no idea what you've gotten me through as a child. 
what my house was like, and you were the safe place. Batman was my hero. Batman was the noble place I would go to every afternoon. That's an amazing thing to be a part of with people, you know? Because it, when you're a voice of an animated character, you really live in people's imaginations much more than the live action characters do. Which is why I have a leg up on the actors who, who do Batman live action, because I don't have to deal with this, you know, on camera. I get to, I get to, I get to create him totally with my voice. And then it lives through the cartoon. And he is an animated character. He, he lives in people's imaginations. So when you live in someone's imagination, you're in a very intimate place, especially when they're children growing up with the, with the character. So that's the thing I, 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 I think I'm most proud of in terms of having played with this, is what he resonates with the audience, how he resonates with the audience. Your best. That's all we hear is your best. <laughs> <laughs> I read that uh, Andrea actually convinced you to audition for Batman in lieu of Joker. Have you ever imagined the world in which you would be? Being Joker? a typical actor, right? <laughs> I'm in this audition. I go in and I nail Batman. But I'm looking at the script and I'm going, you know, Bullock's a much more interesting character. <laughs> you know, Commissioner Gordon, that'd be fun to do. What about Joker? So I went, you know, I could do a really good New York, uh, you know, <laughs> cop. And she goes, Kevin, shut up. <laughs> They're interested in you for the role that you will be in every episode. Every, get it? Every episode. I said, yeah, but, but Bullock is so much fun. She said, shut up. You're talking yourself out of this role. Thanks, Kev. Uh, okay. Thank you.